and we are Geek Chic Promotions, and it is time for Nerd Rage. Yeah. Woo -woo. Uh, we are drinking, we haven't tried a sip yet, so I'm very curious. It is the Chocolate Shop. It is a chocolate red wine. Mm -hmm. I am nervous and excited because I do like chocolate. And I do like red wine. It smells really chocolate. Yeah, it smells really chocolate. So cheers to you. Cheers to you guys. Oh, that is fucking delicious. Wow. <laughs> that is... Mm. It like goes in red wine, but then when you breathe out, it's chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> we're just gonna we're gonna hang out here for a second while mm. we wait for you guys to join yeah. and just drink our red wine that is chocolate wine. That's really okay. Good. I, really, I can't. I don't know if we can do the stream now, guys. We're too focused so, on because this bottle was fifteen bucks, guys. Oh shit! We've never spent that much Big money. Big spenders here. <laughs> $15. $15. Well, there's <laughs> still my favorite Malbec over at um, Trader Joe's. It is $3.99. Woo! Which, by the way, I'm having a sale. That's why I have so much wine that I brought with is because it's buy one, get one, five cents. So, just, like just, just put it out there. <laughs> it why out am there, I not guys. seeing our live video that's happening right now as we speak? I see there it is. There it is. Found it. All right, guys. I don't know if you know this, but Disney Plus uh, started this week. I don't know. Did, I don't know if you heard about it. There was like it was a little, very little thing. Under the radar. Yeah, very under the radar. Like I don't know if you guys heard about this Disney Plus, uh, but it happened, mm -hmm. and I am so on board because like I will always be a Disney fanatic. Mm -hmm. Like I know I know it's a terrible conglomeration and like all that kind of stuff. Whatever. But you're not alone. That's the thing. Like you're not like one person that's like bucking the trend or anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Literally, that's everybody's why Disney on Plus that same. was yeah. so, you know, was so huge. It's because everybody is like that. Um, so, discuss that when you... Uh, did you have any problems getting Disney Plus? Because for us, it kind of glitched on one TV, oh, really? not another. Yeah. Because basically, I, I pre-ordered it. Yeah, same here. And I just did the year, because like, I'm going to watch it for a year. <laughs> oh, we did three years. I don't know, you could do that. Yeah, well... Damn, was, that must have been much cheaper. Yeah, there was... Um, it basically came down to, I think, $2 a month or something is how it was. What? It was like 136 bucks or something for three years. It was, like, super cheap. And um, you got it if you were a part of um, D23. Like, if you're part of that membership, which My I was. Space bar isn't working, so I can't post this. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, continue. Just put an exclamation point and hit post. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. It's fine. Just having some computer uh, problems. Fine. Yeah. We're all fine here. Um, so anyway, we got it for three years. Man, and by the I way, I've hundred percent gotten it for three years. Yeah. Um, it, D23. That's all you had to do is sign up for the basic membership, which apparently I already mm. had from going to Disneyland and signing up for their apps. Yeah. So, uh, what? I'm signed yeah. up for all the apps. Yep. Oh, so you missed out girl. I did. And, and here's the thing. If also, by the way, if you have Verizon, and you get their unlimited plan or you get their files plan you can log on and get another year free on top of it stacked free all right well i'll look into that because i do have uh for my cell phone some verizon yeah. unlimited booyaka shop if you already have it just go to the verizon site click that you already have it and it'll give you another Disney year Plus free? for another year yeah mm -hmm. for free mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that was a help tip. okay so yes so obviously we're fans of Disney yes Plus. when you log on it basically had categories. It's so much better than Netflix, you guys. It had categories for Marvel, for, like, for Fox, like, for superheroes, for everything. For everything. Because, like, okay, A, I can finally do what I've dreamed of for, what is it, the last three years of doing a very merry Marvel movie marathon. <laughs> so during the holidays, watch every single Marvel movie. Wow. We'll see if I can do it. I'm going to be super busy, a, so I don't think lot. I can. I, I think I made that plan when we were working at Girl Scouts, and I was like, well, if we saw a town, it's going to be my yeah, apartment. But, but that's like like 10 movies ago. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like now 200 it's like hours epic. ago. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, basically, I don't know about anybody else, but literally as soon as we log on, we watch The Mandalorian, the first episode. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Why is my, oh my god. My space bar isn't working. We're just going to die. So I can't comment back to you guys. Sorry. You know what? I've got it open on mine. So. Okay. Well, no, it's, I mean, it's, it's, I'll just read off comments. And then if we need to respond, we'll, we'll have yeah. Chris respond to it. It's fine. Hi, George. What up, buddy? I'm assuming. Oh, wait. I know for a fact that you've watched Mandalorian because we are going to spoil like. Yes. I am shocked at how many people were just unabashedly spoiling shit for the first episode, day one. Like posting pictures of, again, spoilers. Spoilers. 
Mm -hmm. baby Yoda. Yes, which pissed me off. What, right? Like, just I'm just like, give it a now. couple days. Yeah. Like, come on, man. And, like, and people think they're being clever, and they're not. Like, and that's no, the whole thousand thing. They're percent. just spoiling it. And it's just like, hey, you know, oh, yeah, like, you know, the, the green baby, you know, and they're talking about things like, you know, like people can't piece it together like everyone's a moron or something. Yeah. It's like, well, and here's now. the thing, too, is that, uh, and we have had full nerd rages just about spoilers because we are very much against it. And also, we are of the feeling anything is a spoiler. Like, okay. I'm sorry, you're not smart enough. I'm sorry, whoever you think you are, you are not smart enough to not spoil something by, like, being tricky or using, like, wordplay or whatever. Right. You're you're spoiling it because either way, when I watch it, and I'm going to be bummer. prepared for it. It's going to be super sad and I'll it be sad and it yeah. always is. And I'll never forget when somebody posted the spoiler for um, Force Awakens about Han dying. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, well, it was the week the movie was coming out on like the Monday mm -hmm. and somebody did it in a very sneaky uh, gif. And I was like, you unfriended him. Right? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> He can never speak to me again. I knew him for 10 years. Nope. Relationship over. <laughs> Friendship over. Um, yeah, I did not care for that. But also, because I knew people were going to be idiots, I literally watched it that morning. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, woke 100%. Up, watched it. Yep. And then on Friday, was that yesterday? Yep. Yes. Woke up at 6 a.m., watched it again right yep. before work. Because I was and you watched like, this, yeah, you the watched second, the second episode. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, because I was like, I. Glad, like, I'm not gonna, spoils everything. Because during the day, everyone watches. Like, even you watched it during the day and commented, and I was like, you. Like, oh, by the way, I, that's not when I watched it. I realized I hadn't said anything about it. I was uh, finished my day of work, and I was actually <laughs> doing laundry. And I was like, oh, right. I have to post that I watched this thing. Because the second episode, I love so much. But let's back up. Let's back this train up. Let's just start <laughs> talking about Mandalorian. Right. Okay. okay. Bam. Okay. So, trailer was already in. Um, all that jazz. But the thing that threw me off at the big, very get-go mm -hmm. is having the one alien, because like, also, little side note, I had just rewatched all three of the originals that didn't have any of the added CGI scenes, right. bullshit. Mm -hmm. The Nub Dub song was the actual Nub Dub song at the end of um, <laughs> Return of the Jedi. I'll put it that way. Han is the only one that shot. <laughs> so, who shot first? Did you know that they actually redid that scene again for Disney Plus? And he says it's where like chunk a chunk or something, and like it was like just don't change what, it. What? I don't know. Yeah. It's it's the weirdest Whatever. thing. Anyways, so this was just coming off of watching the originals. Now the thing that threw me off at the very beginning of the first episode of uh, Mandalorian is that that kind of blue fishy looking guy mm -hmm. had a total average Joe like American like mm -hmm. hey guys ba 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 ba, and you've never seen that in the originals. Like right. in the originals they always have some weird voice or mm -hmm. accent or just mode of speaking. Mm -hmm. And to me I was like, am I watching the Orville? Like that's what I felt like mm -hmm. with like this is like, I'm just gonna talk and be awkward and da, da 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 and it's just again, it's not that I hated it, it just took took me like it took me off guard. And mm -hmm. then it didn't really feel like I kept get, getting like felt like I was getting pulled into like Orville like kind well, of thing. I mean it was written and directed by John Favreau, mm -hmm. right? So I mean, that's kind of his style. His style, yeah. Yeah. So um, it didn't really surprise me. Uh, I actually kind of liked it because I liked the Orville. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I liked it. It just I was like, it yeah. took me out of the Star Wars feel. Yeah. Um, going right into, and I'm forgetting the name of the android. Um, oh, and I love the fact that uh, the Mandalorian hates all androids. He's mm -hmm. like, nope, 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 because he just came out of like he barely survived the Clone War, mm -hmm. war as a kid, so like mm -hmm. he wants no machines, like at all. Yeah, and this is where we learn that it's after the Empire's fallen. Yes. So, uh, Hi, Rob. Essentially, this is that's where we get our timelines. Yeah. yeah. So that's why when all these questions come up about baby Yoda. And it's not Yoda, it's not really but Yoda. this is this is the moment when, when we, when we first saw... Exactly. We don't that's, know. That's what we was so know. funny. As soon as I was like, it's baby, it's a baby... Yo, yodeling. Oh. It's a baby yodeling. <laughs> baby yodeling. Oh, <laughs> he is so flipping cute. Is, I can't cute. hit. It. I want. But mm. also, mm. it like it brings to mind like, could it be Yoda? I mean, we don't reincarnated know what, yeah, because reincarnated, he, yeah, because we don't know well, their no, species. It ha we don't but, know what they do. But it's already fifty years old, so it would have to be unless it times out that it's exactly fifty, which that's not possible because this is in between um, Force Awakens and. Sorry, uh, between Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens, right? Because it's right after the Empire fell? Yes. So, yeah. So, it can't be Yoda, even if it was reincarnated, because he's already 50 years old. Hmm. 
True. Now, what I love about this on so many levels... They They made you really think about, like, oh, nerds will get this. Like, because literally you just did it. Yeah. Of, like... it, Could this be Yoda? Like, but like, oh, nerds will understand. They'll, they'll figure it out that it's not Yoda. Yeah. And you did. <laughs> Nugget. He's so cute. And I love the idea that they're still, ch- like, childlike at 50 years old. Mm-hmm. And, like, God, how much... Like, no, mod- no wonder, like, Yoda is so wise. Like, how much information you're just absorbing as this quiet little nugget. Mm-hmm. You know? And obviously... At was 50. At 50. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's so great. I love it so much. And the second episode, or um, unless, is there anything we want to talk about for the first episode? Anybody out there? Oh, wait, Rob, what up, Rob? Somebody uh, called he the says, online fish guy Norm, because he was so average, a.k.a. Yeah. normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. That's, yeah, that's, Rob, that was, like, kind of the issue that I had. He's like, it's, it's just Norm, because he's just yeah. a normal guy. He's just trying to, like, survive, and he has a bounty on him, whatever, you know. Bounty for what, though? I know, for what did he do? Probably blue-collar know. crime, just something yeah. stupid. Um... But yeah, overall, the first episode, I really liked it. I love the music. I love the um, the mm-hmm. theme song for The Mandalorian. It's so good. Mm-hmm. I love the pieces that you get of, like, mystery while it's still nodding to the original series, like talking about his if his insignia has uh, represented itself yet. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And you're like, ooh. Ooh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Yeah, there were lots of really great things. And I, and I like the fact that... Um, for the most part, <clears throat> like it, it's he's silent for the majority of the time. Oh, it's so I love yeah. that. I, that's like that's exactly what it's, people were obsessed with. Really Boba Fett. cool freaking costume, yeah. Because yeah. that he, he's just like you know they they give you a little bit of lore, like oh so is it true that Mandalorians don't ever take their helmets off? Like yeah, really yeah. Awesome. They just yeah they, they add to that like, lore a little more and more. Yeah, they you pieces of information and in the right way of exposition, yes, not in the right just way. like. It's like a show slash tell slash like it's a natural conversation to have mm-hmm. at that point and yeah. like have it be one of the Which one all of the last. good writers do. Yes. By the way. Even in comic books. Yes. So um, um but then yeah, I mean, so obviously the big reveal at the end of, you know, episode one was uh The nugget, yeah, yeah the his was, bounty that he fought so hard for and right. the and the fact that there's obviously other um bounty hunters that have been sent after mm-hmm. this baby baby. I mean, he's 50. Which but, is crazy because the android wanted to kill him, but he was told specifically, please bring it alive. But it's only that, that one dude that right. was like, bring him back alive. Right. The head dude was like, yeah, kill him, but we need proof of death. Right. <laughs> like, and that, and that's like the weird thing is that automatically you're getting these different stories of like, some are okay with him being dead, but some are like, why well, I'd prefer him alive, but dead if you can't manage yeah. it any other way. You know, so obviously he was I like, can't, nope, I, I, I can't do this. I'm, I'm bringing him in alive. And also, by the way, this is 2019. Why don't we have baby carriages that tether to you like that and float along Oh my after god, you? that'd be Good amazing. Lord. Why right? don't we have this? Just like, yeah, and like, love it because, like, ah. even when in the in the next episode, when he's like dealing with the jowls and everything, he's just like, like doot, 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 like, come on. Got an eye watch. Yeah, just, like, like, you know. A little nugget following. Guess it's not a dangerous way. Egg. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, obviously, first episode in, like, not that I had a, I was wary at all, but, like, it's just, like, I, like I said, that one little, like, thing with the alien, I was like, Mm -hmm. okay, it's not really feeling like Star Wars me, especially since I just came off of the originals, but I was like, I'm still so on board. Mm -hmm. Like, the music, the, the tone, like, it wasn't super bright and flashy. The second episode is... That's when everybody got Flippin' perfect. It's perfect. There's, like, maybe seven lines in the entire thing. It is so, like, old-school, like, Western, like, really took its time with its beats, and, like, but so much happened, Mm -hmm. and we had to deal with some Jawas, and, like... Which is interesting. Which is interesting, because at first, like, I didn't really notice that they were taking apart a ship. I just thought he was, like, just murdering some Jawas. Yeah, and I was like, what the hell? And then all of a sudden, it, like, clicks, and you're like, oh, shit. Oh, that, that's a ship, yeah. yeah that's gold. Oh, God. Oh, and then they messed him up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think what was, like, even <laughs> better about the whole thing was obviously Nick Nolte. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, then but then there's, like, when little Yoda keeps trying to come over to I help know, the harbor. I know, And he's just, like, like, he's just like, baby, he's like, in no, basket. Go, <laughs> go ba- basket. And he's like, <laughs> oh, oh, I want to squeeze him. Oh, and then he eats the frog. I love that. Like, <laughs> spit it out. Like, <laughs> spit that out. And he's like, by oh, the oh. way, if they don't make a toy of baby Yoda, then they're missing out. They also have to do uh, what I need, because, you know, they have that, like, um, kind of uh, magnetic thing to make mm-hmm. something float. I need the egg that he's in and him in it and just having it floating on, like, a thing. <laughs> Toy makers, I need this for, you know, my, my desk. 
<laughs> sits right in front of me. Uh, like, <sighs> so yeah. cool. So um, basically, I, I had a feeling when oh, I yes, saw... Eric just joined us. Yes, we are talking Mandalorian. We are spoiling yes. for the second episode if you haven't watched that yet either. Um, yes. Rob uh, also says it's... It's so Clint Eastwood spaghetti western set in the Star Wars universe, and that's a good thing. Yes, a hundred percent agree, and I loved it. And to me, it gave all the feels of like the original series because it was like a little dirtier, a little rougher, and it was like there wasn't that much technological like saves. Like so much of it was like, well, I have to just go find the, mm -hmm. you know, and do this, and then I have to go find this egg and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> um, Okay, and oh yeah, George says, you really think there isn't going to be a baby Yoda right before Christmas? Yeah, probably. But I want it floating, I don't know why. <laughs> but oh, little baby Yoda, he's so fuzzy, he's so cute. And Stephen Markle says that The Mandalorian is the best show on right now. I agree. I really, mm -hmm. I, I'm just, the second episode was just so good. It gave me all, uh, and Nick Nolte, I have spoken, like... <laughs> Yeah, I knew, like, as soon as I heard that, I'm like, uh, and then, like, I got a text message from, like, a couple of coworkers who watched it literally, like, right when I came out, and then, like, they used that phrase, I'm like, oh, God, everyone's going to be fucking saying I have spoken. I, no, like, I just, I want to do the now. one, I just want to do the one post sure, of, like, for sure, this is, for sure. this, well, we're not going to see him anymore, which I also appreciate, is the fact that, like, he's like, I'm old, I just really wanted to help so that my valet would be quiet again, like, I'm good just to retire. He's like, mm -hmm. okay, bye. Like, I have a feeling he'll probably come back around. I kind of, is it weird that I kind of hope he doesn't? Like, I, I like things, to just, and now and now the movie's, like, you know, now the story moves forward. And all that kind of stuff, so. Well, you know, you do, you never know. <laughs> uh, Eric says, yeah, I haven't watched the second episode yet. I will later on. Okay, Eric, we're totally spoiling the second episode. <laughs> spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, sorry. Sorry, hashtag, not so sorry. Um, but yeah, I just, the second episode is so good. It's, um, it hits... All of, like, we're not on Tatooine, but it feels a lot like Tatooine. And I, God, I love the beast. Mm -hmm. Like, if, it felt like we were going back to the old school way of designing um, Star Wars beasts, well, where it, it's like kind of a combination of real life animals. Like, I read that they have 1.5 million per episode. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. And also, it's John Favreau. Like, oh he God, can't. So much. Yeah, and he can't he's, do wrong. He's so like, excited. So, yeah. obviously, you guys saw before even the first episode dropped. Or, no, I think when the first episode dropped, he, he did a, a post about, like, started filming the second season. And he's super excited because he didn't. He is, like, on board for this first season, but he didn't get to direct anything this first season. Mm. He is directing the pilot for the second season. Nice. Though. Oh, I'm very much looking I know. I'm that so then. psyched. Okay. And, and we only have eight episodes. I think we've already talked about that, but it's mm -hmm. just eight episodes. And that's it. And that is it. Well, it's going to fly by just like that because it's going to be done by the end of the year, basically. So... Anyway, okay, so let's talk about what else we've watched on Disney Plus because okay, yes. I can tell you, I watched the first episode of the Jeff Goldblum series, <clears throat> which is I can't remember what it's called. It's National Geographic. It's the world according to Jeff Goldblum, or Jeff Goldblum knows everything, or some, something like that, yeah. whatever it is. But basically, it's Jeff Goldblum, basically Goldbluming his way around things. Um, and talking about <laughs> I'm on board. Literally, completely normal things and making them sound fascinating. So the first episode was about sneakers. <clears throat> and so he takes sneakers and he goes, did you know there's a sneaker con? We're going to sneaker con. And he goes and you find out that people are buying sneakers literally for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh yeah, that I and did it, like, know about yeah, that. That I knew I about, know about yeah. but cash, cash. People are whipping out like bags of cash. It was insane. And anyway, and then of course he did an unboxing video because that was hilarious and it's very, he's just kind of like an old man, which is hilarious and he's just like, he doesn't really know much, but he's like, ooh, like, what's does, this, you know? Does and, life find um, a way? Yeah. Oh yeah. Life finds a way. And, uh, and basically his next one's on ice cream and like, like he's just so Jeff Goldblum in it. He's just like, ice cream, do we deserve this? delicious delicacy like it's just so jungle i love it <laughs> i don't want to watch the next thing on ice cream because you know he's gonna like take this weird average thing and make it like just so fascinating yeah you know? so yeah anyway i i highly recommend that yeah i so it. um mandalorian is the only new thing of the of the content on disney plus i went deep dive and was like what 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 like I rewatched Thumbelina because I forgot that existed. And that's such a strange <laughs> movie in the Disney time. Guys, watch Thumbelina. It's so weird because it's like, 
it's right, I feel like it was right before Aladdin and all that kind of stuff, but, or maybe it was at the same time because they, it's like all these songs sound exactly like other Disney like popular songs, but they like twisted it and rewrote it just enough that it's not. Like there's this one part that's literally, uh, let me show you the world, like from Aladdin, mm -hmm. but instead of on a magic carpet, the, the you know, fairy prince has wings and is flying Thumbelina around, but mm -hmm. it's like the same song pretty much, but they like change, like it's just, it's so, but they have like these crazy stars in it too. Mm -hmm. Like Gilbert Godfrey is in it and like a bunch of like- It was very much all Disney. Oh yeah, but well, it, it was it was crazy. Now the thing that I love the most that has happened from Disney Plus is y'all just realized Gargoyles was a show. Now, I was effing obsessed so, with this show. I, you know, did you know that they did the uncut? The uncut episodes? Yes, they did. Yes. So this is actually signed by... Greg Wiseman. Greg Wiseman. So Greg Wiseman also, uh, because yeah, of Yeah, he started a Twitter campaign. Yeah. started a Twitter campaign to bring it back, and he's got everybody on board to come back and, and do it. And it's just it. shocking, because like, people yeah. are watching and they're like, oh, I didn't know that Discovering basically Deanna Troy the and um, yeah. the... the uh, What's his face? Are are like yeah? It's it's an incredible show. It's basically Shakespeare with gargoyles. It's mm -hmm. so good. It's really good. Now, the only question I have and problem I still have is where is the Gar uh, Goliath Chronicles? So not many people know this because this is how freaking weird I was as a kid, how obsessed with the show I was. So I think it was like right before the ABC merger or something like that, but it actually switched to a different network. So it was either, you know, it could have been NBC, but I feel like it was ABC. Anyways, it, uh, at the end of whatever season of official Gargoyles, it turns into the Goliath Chronicles. And hmm. it basically continues what is dark AF. Is it on there or no? No, no. Because oh, I don't think it's owned by Disney. And I want to find the show. So if anybody knows where the show is, I need to find it. You know, we have the power to literally just email Greg Wiseman. I don't know why you haven't done that yet. <laughs> Greg, you'll be hearing from me soon. <laughs> Greg, where the F is it? <laughs> just give it to me legally. I don't care. I just need it. So, yeah. So we've watched, by the way, like Aladdin again. And we watched oh, a great documentary on, um, I can't remember the guy's name now. And I feel really bad that I can't because I never can remember things while we're doing a live stream. But uh, the guy who composed all the music for Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin. Oh, um, and then died right before Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Uh, but there's a documentary uh, on Disney Plus about it, and it's 10 years old, but it's so good because hmm. you get to see behind the scenes and you get to see like this really super grainy footage of them of, of the girl who plays Ariel like singing the songs and going through different takes and doing it in different versions of like especially the spectacular song of um, of um, she what she wants what she, yeah because he, he clearly defines um certain things that need to go into disney movies which is basically like you start off and with like a little fun song and then you go into what does the character want in life yeah and that's what makes the audience fall in love with them before they move on and do some big spectacular love song so i 100 really fascinating need to watch this documentary because mm -hmm. i'm fascinated by it but i do also want to say for all of you adults who are rewatching these older movies like I am. Now I'm watching Little Mermaid, I'm like, because like, you know, she's like, I'm a grown woman. And you're like, you are 16, little girl, sit your ass down. I'm like, <laughs> no, you listen to your father. Yeah. You're literally trading your voice for a guy you saw. <laughs> Come on now. There's some problems. There's some problems. <laughs> There's some problems. Well, and then like, and then if you rewatch like, the Ursula, cartoon. Ursula, she's not so bad as you think. I know, she's I not mean, that bad. She tries to talk her out of it. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's like, you don't really want this. Don't you just want to be a strong, then, independent woman that like is in charge of your own desert? Do you really want to do this? And, and like, like yes, the I original do. Aladdin like, cartoon, right. they're both kind of dicks. I'm gonna say it. Like Aladdin's like, I just want to eat bonbons and do nothing in the palace, and she's like, life is so hard. I can't leave the palace, ma. And it's just like, what? <laughs> also, have you been in her shoes? You think? It's true. Do you know? I mean, obviously, all we want to do is just eat bonbons. She's bonbon. basically a freaking prisoner. She's a prisoner She's with a all prisoner. that money and her yeah. tiger. She can't do anything with the money. She's a prisoner. <laughs> and her dad's forcing her to marry some stranger. You don't know. That old stranger. Old strangers, yeah. You remember uh, when, like, Jafar was just, like... 
Yeah, and he's like, you but you're so, you're so old. Yeah, um, by awesome. the way, I did re- I did watch the the newer <laughs> version of Aladdin on yeah, the, the plane. Live action? Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Also, like, they did make a snake because the guy they cast as Jafar. Have you seen him in pictures outside I of that? No. Okay. So <laughs> like, oh yes. no, I have to marry him. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I did not like the live action. No, I did and not also, like it. Also, I'm like, I Will Smith can't sing. Like, what what the hell happened there? Like, like I listened to his first song and I was like, what? But anyway, I did are appreciate you watch him do his own thing. Are you gonna watch Lady and the Tramp live action? Ugh, I keep going back and forth. I'm gonna. You're gonna? Should, <laughs> we, gonna. Just, should we just watch it tonight? Sure. Okay. Because I go back and forth because I Lady and the Tramp. Mm. I know. Because that was actually one of one of my main songs I used to perform all the time was He's a Tramp, but they love him. Breaks a new heart every day. And I want I want that song to be in there. But I don't know, is it gonna be creepy with like dog I don't know, with actual dogs versus like cartoon? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Let's watch Next week on <laughs> That's the right. Fuck are these weird ass dogs? I mean, I haven't seen the um, live uh, Lion King either. I haven't seen that either. Is that on there? I don't know. I don't think so because that just came out recently, right? I don't right. think it. I don't think it's out of theaters. I do want to see it. I was a bit sad because yeah, they yeah. they are a little tricky on Disney Plus. So mm-hmm. there are some stuff that's not actually going to be available till next October, but they list it anyways. Because mm. I was like, ooh, I want to watch Maleficent again before seeing the the second one because I did like the first Maleficent. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, it's not available until October 2020. Ah. Wow. Yeah, it's probably because it's still stuck on, like, Netflix, or there's probably, like, some there's, other I'm sure there's thing. some stuff. But they Did are you... rebooting, by the way, everything that was yeah. on Netflix. So all, all, like, Jessica Jones and Daredevil and everything else. So, mm. yeah. Well, so we I don't know if I want to that. reboot. I really like the cast they had, but... What was I going to say? I had a whole thing. Sorry. No, no, no. You're good. You good. You, you good. got two minutes. I got two minutes to remember this? <laughs> Shoot. This chocolate wine's too good. Um, oh, the thing I was going to talk about. So a lot of people are complaining because like, oh, it's another streaming service. Hey, you guys, even if you get it monthly, it's like $7 a month. Yeah. Settle out. It's really not bad. But have you seen that um, Hulu... You can partner up with Hulu. Yeah, Hulu it. and SBN, ESPN. ESPN. Yeah. So you can get all three... For twelve ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Now, I have zero percent reason to get an ESPN. Like, I think negative fifty percent reason to get ESPN. But like, it would still be less to but get all three. Isn't that with the ads though? Because right now I get Hulu for like twelve ninety nine a month. Yeah. Without ads. Ah, uh, really that's probably like yeah. Ads. Oh my god, the, the Hulu ads, ads are awful. Because it's the same ad three times in a row. And they take forever, and you're like, Ugh. you're like, kill me now. Yeah. So, forget Hello, it. Hello, Jean Francois. Good to see you. We are doing good. We're talking about Disney Plus. Um, and we're just about to sign off. Yeah, we are. Uh, oh, shoot, because I really want to talk to you about Supernatural, but I guess we'll have to we'll wait for another show. We'll do it next time. Okay, because, guys, there's so many other TV shows that are back and awesome. Yeah. Like Supernatural and Legacies. Um, <laughs> has a Buffy cast member back. <laughs> I gave say. you a side eye, and that's what's going to come up. Yes, as our, <laughs> as our thumbnails. As our thumbnails. We just going to... <laughs> um, okay. uh, yeah, so guys, I'm actually going to be in, out of town uh, for some family business for the next few weeks, so we are going to pre-record um, some stuff for the so next following week. So next week, you guys, yes. we're going to talk about The Watchmen mm-hmm. on HBO. We're going to talk about all the IPs that are not doing well because perhaps they're not superhero based. And then we're uh, going to talk about something else. Yeah, the third, the the. the third one we're going to do, we're going to talk about the weird hierarchy that's happening in the geek pop culture universe. Right. And I'm really tired of it because mm-hmm. I don't like it. That's right. I like being weird, nerdy, and be everybody being okay with it. Yep. Um, so guys, love you. You guys are the best. Happy Nerd Rage. And we will see you next week. See you then. Bye. Bye.